What does uh, being a vulnerable leader mean to you? Lots of people have told me, you know, I have some of those characteristics of being a vulnerable leader. It's okay to um, recognize where you need help and bring that to the table. And I got some good advice early on of do what you're really good at and lead um, uh, what you're not necessarily good at by putting the right people in, in the right places. What does uh, being a vulnerable leader mean to you? Just when you hear that phrase, vulnerable leader, what, what comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, lots of people have told me, you know, I've, I, I have some of those characteristics of being a vulnerable leader. Um, to me, it's um, being open and transparent uh, with um, all subjects, being willing to talk about um, uh, uh, the good and the bad. Uh, being yeah. open about where your st strengths are and open about where you have uh, opportunities to grow or just flat out weaknesses. And in my case, when I came into the chief executive role here, um, I've never um, run a plant. I've not been part of operations. Um, my background, as I uh, highlighted to you before, is much more on strategy and finance and, and a bit on uh, risk management commercial uh, part. but nowhere close to the operations. And I think um, some people would dive directly into uh, trying to know everything about the operations and try and become an operational expert because you're the, C because you're the CEO of the company. And I got some good advice early on of do what you're really good at and lead um, uh, what you're not necessarily good at by putting the right people in, in the right places. And so for me, it was, it's okay. Um, I can be very open with uh, my organization, with people. That's not my area of expertise. And I rely on others um, uh, for that. And that's just a, you know, a small example of, you know, being a vulnerable leader, but being, you know, open and honest with yourself, looking yourself in the mirror and knowing, you know, um, you know, truly uh, where you're, um, I think we all know where our strengths are, but, but being okay with sharing where you um, have some weaknesses. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting because I find that just vulnerability versus vulnerability for leaders is different. Uh, I, I don't know if you would agree or not, but I, I feel like because you're a leader, you have that extra responsibility where you can't just be vulnerable and say, hey, I need help or I don't know, but you have to have that leadership component with it when you do it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with that um, generally. Um, I think that it's okay to um, recognize where you need help and bring that to the table. I think um, the decisiveness of the, what you do with that information is maybe a different part of leadership. Um, yeah. So being vulnerable and saying, hey, I don't know the answer here. I want uh, these two, three, four people around me to help me figure that out. But then once you get those people around you, you can't waffle and move, you know, uh, not not come to a decisive place uh, with whatever, you know, you're, you're, you're being open about. But I've never found, um, me particularly, even as, a, as a, a leader of a large organization, raising my hand and saying, hey, um, I don't know the answer to this. I need some help uh, as a, a, a sign of weakness, as long as... You know, you take that information uh, and and you uh, you know can action against it. What about for other people out there who are like, you know what, I, I want to share, I want to admit to making mistakes. Like, I, I want to be okay with that too, but I'm scared to do it because I don't want to be judged by those around me. A any advice for those types of people who are just scared of that vulnerability at work? Yeah, I mean, um, to me, um, leaning into it uh, uh, more, you're never going to get better if you don't recognize um, where uh, you either need help um, uh, or where you have um, opportunities to um, improve. And so I, I think, you know, having more, um, you know, someone's told me this before, you know, people always think that red on a, scorecard is bad. Red on a scorecard at least is identifying where the opportunities are. And I think a little bit is just that if you can embrace um, understanding where some of these opportunities are, 
in um, uh, your journey as a leader, um, your journey as uh, in, in whatever you're trying to accomplish, um, that's okay. As long as you're doing it with the right intentions to uh, be open to improvement too, not just to uh, open uh, without the improvement part of it as well. So, um, uh, so I just encourage people to embrace it and uh, uh, and 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 utilize it to to find ways to get better and, and win.